Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford F-150. We're going to talk about the trimmer trim here. Uh, this one was a job to or a late availability trim level. All the other trims are, were launched uh, at the beginning of the model year, but the trimmer held off for a little bit for some reason. Uh, but it is now available uh, to order. And uh, so we're going to go through this trim. We're going to go tell you what's all standard. Uh, talk about the mechanical, the safety, all the exterior features, interior features, and everything. Uh, and then talk about the 402 A equipment group and then all the standard equipment. So if you're looking to order one, you can use this video, hopefully give you some information to go to your local dealership to place that order. The order banks are opened up and you should be able to place this tremor order here. And they have, actually have started scheduling for the tremors this month as well uh, or just recently. So there you go. We uh, do have a YouTube special. So uh, we are a dealership here in Salina, Kansas. So if you do want to order from us, uh, we'll talk about the special at the very end of the video. Timestamp down below if you want. This video isn't about ordering necessarily with us, but if you're wanting to do that, we have a YouTube special and such. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So hopefully you do uh, like this, like content on Ford vehicles. If you do, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video uh, that we have, including our live stream. So uh, very popular live streams uh, where we are kind of a podcast where we talk about scheduling information, dealer news updates, recalls, uh, what's on our mind, and then take your questions live. We're, I think, the only dealership out there doing this where we'll actually take your questions live right on the air every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central. So come on over. If you put, place an order, you might want to stay updated on any kind of constraints that might happen, and that's what we do on those videos or those uh, live streams. So come on over and join us and get your questions answered. Um, and then if you miss those, every Wednesday at about 6 p.m. Central, we'll actually – um, produced what we talked about during that video for scheduling information. So you can watch that as well. So again, all right, so let's jump right in and talk about the uh, trimmer here. We're going to talk about standard equipment first, and I actually do have Ford's building price has been up for a little while, uh, actually. So let's go ahead and go on over and talk about that. Okay, so Ford.com, uh, right now uh, F-150 is not there. So you got to go over to vehicles and then go down to trucks and vans, and then we can go over to the F-150. Uh, click on here and you're going to see 2023 F-150 because uh, why is it still there if ordering for 24 has been out for a while? And that's because there's still enough inventory on the 23 model year. They have to have that building price still there. So their search and building price work hand in hand. So as long as there's enough dealer inventory out there, they're going to make the building price available for that model year. If you want to move on to 24 model year, hit this Explore 2024 and you'll see it right here, building price at that point. You can also learn a little bit more about the different trim levels and models and such right here. A lot of trim levels, XL, STX is own trim this year. XLT trimmer kind of sits right in here. I think it's based by price. Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and then Raptor. Uh, so you can kind of see where those all sit. Um, and I think it's sorted that way. So we're going to talk about trimmer because it is a really interesting trim here. Uh, so click in here into the building price. And we're going to build our own instead of try to find inventory because they're not on dealer lots yet, folks. Uh, we have XL, STX, XLT. Over here, you can configure what you want. Uh, these here, I believe, let me go double check. Uh, these only come in the Super Crew configuration and only 4x4. Four four. So if you go Super Crew, go and then 4x4. Uh, four four. Also, the, I forgot to mention too, five and a half foot bed is the only configuration for this. So if you try to click six and a half foot bed, you won't see the trimmer listed. It is not there. Five and a half foot bed, there's the trimmer. So we're going to click on start our build. So standard super crew, standard five and a half foot bed, and also standard four by four. Only way to get it. Uh, so that is uh, how we're going to kind of talk about this. So talk about the powertrains for a second. Your standard powertrain or engine is the 5.0 liter V8 engine with the auto start stop technology. You come to stop light stop sign, shuts the vehicle off, let go of the brake, turns it back on. Also, if you turn the steering wheel, it'll do the same thing. So I do that a lot of times. So you notice four by four electronic 10 speed automatic transmission as well. It will come standard with a 373 electronic locking gear ratio. So you got a rear locker in here so you can lock that the, the rear end if you need to. 
Uh, so that is some of the, the main information here. But let's talk about some other mechanical features other than just what we're seeing here. We do have the select shift automatic transmission with the progressive rain select as well. 4x4 four four electronic shift on the fly with neutral towing capabilities. Um, the drive modes. Let's talk about those for a second because you do get some extra drive modes with the trimmer you don't see on the others. So we have a normal mode. We have an eco mode. Helps you get save on fuel economy. A sport mode. Gives you a sportier uh, ride. Uh, tow haul mode. So if you put it in that when you're wanting to tow. Slippery mode. So whether it's uh, raining outside, maybe you're in some snow, ice situation. Deep snow sand mode. So if you're going off road, you kind of uh, or you do and getting that snow or sand uh, mode. That's a great kind of a Baja type of uh, feel and drive experience. And then mud ruts. That's your off road mode. Throw that thing in mud ruts and you're good to go. And we also do have a rock crawl mode. So again, off road capabilities, increased ride height um, for this vehicle here. And uh, so because of that. You do have that rock crawl mode. Only other time you see the rock crawl mode is with the Raptor on the F-150. You don't see it on any other trim levels except for trimmer and Raptor. So if you're wanting a less expensive uh, type of off-road vehicle, this is it. I think this is a gem here. A lot of people overlook. Trimmer is a great way to go. Now, a couple of the things that you get for off-road capabilities with this that we don't see on anything other than the Raptor, and that is you get trail control with the trail one pedal drive and trail turn assist. Let's talk about all three of those. Trail control, you can select your speed. Click the button, go into trail control. It's like cruise control for the trail. So if you're going along, maybe it's a bumpy road, something like that, you just want to concentrate on, on the steering. But that can go from anywhere from 1 to 20 miles an hour, and it's going to keep that speed there. You can still go up and down. Maybe you slow down a little bit, but then you want to go back up. You just go back and hit the resume like on your cruise control and puts it right back in that, that speed you're going. Also, we do have trail one pedal drive, which means uh, just like it does on like an EV or something where when you press the gas, you're going. When you let off the gas, you're braking. So that helps so you don't have to do this two pedal off-road driving. You can go one pedal with that. Uh, a lot of people like that. Trail turn assist. That allows you to be able to turn a little bit tighter on uh, off-roading. So uh, you, just, you only want to do that on gravel, loose roads, dirt that kind of stuff uh, but trail turn assist what it's going to do is it's going to break that inner tire as you turn the wheel and it's going to put more power around it and it's going to just it's going to pivot around that tire uh, so we did see this introduced into the bronco that now is part of the tremor as well as the raptor uh, we do have a 9.75 inch uh, gear set uh, we do have fully boxed steel frame just like on that's um it's uh, all the other trim levels. The axle is an independent front suspension. Uh, we do have a uh, fail-safe cooling system. We do have electric parking brake with auto hold feature. So that means it'll hold it at a stoplight stop sign if you have it in that set. We have hill start assist. It allows you, if you're on a hill, to start and go up by not you drifting back. And we do have hill descent control. A lot of times we see it on just your off-road vehicles, like FX4 package, that kind of thing. So if you're coming down, it's going to actually allow you to go to every five mile an hour increments coming down. So it's almost a little bit better than your trail control in the sense that you can go down to 0.5 miles an hour uh, coming down a hill. Uh, stabilizer bar uh, in the front. We do have off-road front and rear shocks with that trimmer logo on those rear shocks in the back. Coil front springs, uh, rear leaf springs, rack and pinion steering. Uh, we do have upgraded and unique tremor control arms and front knuckle as well uh, that's going to come along with this. All right. That's a lot of mechanical features that, you know, that you're going to get. Now, let's talk about some safety features. And these actually are all the same on the other F-150. So if you did look at like the XLT a trim level safety features you can click ahead use the timestamps i forgot to mention earlier to move around in the video so click on that exterior front uh, and you're going to be able to move uh, move ahead if you've already watched some of the other videos but if you haven't this is the only one you're watching let's get into the different safety features the airbags driver and passenger front uh airbags uh the, the was a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle um, we do have also the driver and passenger seat mounted side airbag. So it's going to deploy an airbag from the side of the seat if you have that side collision. Safety canopy side curtain airbag as well for first and second row. This is deploy down, help uh, protect from breaking glass. Rollover sensor as well is included and everything like that. 
advanced track with roll stability control with curve control. So help you keep you on your intended path. So if going to the curve maybe too fast. Curve control will help with that, but also the roll stability control will help you. It'll use a series of brakes on the vehicle to keep you going where you're intending to go. If you're maybe it's slick outside, something like that. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, including includes pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, and dynamic brake support. Let's break these down. Pedestrian detection. So this front this front uh, sensing system is going to. Uh, it's not really a sensing system. Sorry. Uh, this the, the pre-collision assist system. It's going to detect if there's a car going in front of you. So you have that forward collision warning. It's going to light up the the productivity screen, a series of tones that you need to, that you hear, and lets you know that there's someone stopping in front of you, or there's a pedestrian there, and you need to hit your brake. Preloads the brakes with that dynamic brake support, so that when you hit that brake, you're going to stop even faster. Does have post collision braking, so if you're in an accident, it's going to break the vehicle uh, post collision. Maybe you forget to put it in uh, park, something like that. SOS post crash alert system. So if you're in an accident off the side of the road, honk the horns, flash the light, so people know they need to come to your safety. Uh, we do also have lane keeping system. So what I like about this is it's a has a driver alert, the lane keeping aid, and alert system. So the driver alert is going to let you know if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often. The dry lane keeping aid system, uh, you have an alert and aid. So the alert is going to do is allow you to leave your lane. But when you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that. Uh, the uh, aid system will actually try to keep you in your lane. So get over to that line and bring you back in. Now, this is something that's activated. You can activate with or without your cruise control on, uh, which is great. Um, and then this is all three of those features that the F features you can activate or deactivate. So um, perimeter alarm. Uh, that means if you lock that vehicle up, it's going to secure that. So if someone tries to break glass or move the vehicle, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, let people know they uh, someone's trying to take your vehicle. Uh, security lock, passive, and a theft system means only the coded key can start the vehicle. It's that simple. Um, and then we, for this year, one-year plan to the stolen vehicle services. So allow you to see where your vehicle's at so you can call the authorities and have them go and retrieve your vehicle for you. So that's uh, pretty nice and how that's included now for this year. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the some fun stuff. Uh, extra styling here. So we're going to go back on over here. I actually got to click over. Um, we're going to go to the exterior of the vehicle, and let's get to a good front image shot. There we go right there. So on the grill, this is a unique grill dedicated to the Tremor. It is a coast-to-coast -coast grill, so it wraps around the, the uh, headlights there. Coast-to-coast, -coast, you'll notice a unique design. Orange, the active orange accents uh, right here uh, that uh, kind of fill that in and kind of work along with the markers Uh so that's pretty cool. Uh, we do have front bumper is going to be body body colored, front fascia as well. That's that part right across there. Front bumper is going to be body colored there too. Uh, we do have body colored, yeah, fascia. We have front toe hooks, two of them up here. Uh, so you'll see those right in there. Uh, front toe hooks. We'll have skid plates as well. So you can kind of see that right under here. So nice front skid plate too. And then we do have see an increased ride height and improved departure and a approach angles so because of the skid plates and everything you'll notice no air dam under there so i hope give you that better approach and departure angles there um, and then we do have led reflector headlights with the black bezels give that sport look and led fog lights with the led cornering lights so you'll see these uh fog lights down here too so actually we don't have the cornering lights i'm not sure why i have that on there so that is not correct so we do have LED fog lights and LED reflector headlights with the black bezels. Uh, we do have daytime running lights uh, as well. And then auto lamp, which means you have the headlights on. Uh, if you have an auto setting, they'll come on when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Auto high beams work similar to that in the sense that your high beams are going to be on when it's dark enough outside and there's nobody approaching you. Once somebody approaches you in a city lights, it's going to automatically shut them off. Now, again, Auto headlights are something you can activate and deactivate along with your rain lamp. So if it's raining, you have your wipers on, then the, the headlights will come on. So that's something you can deactivate and deactivate. 360 degree camera system with the trailer reverse guidance. So that means there's going to be a camera under the forward emblem on the sides and on the back. So you can see completely around your vehicle. And then trailer reverse guidance allows you to be able to see along your trailer as you're backing up those trailers. So pretty cool on how that works. Now let's move to the side. 
Actually, I think I'm going to do this side shot. There we go. So on the side over here, we do have an 18-inch alloy with a dark matted, uh, dark matte finish uh, on it. So that's a real nice-looking wheel. Uh, tire is a 275-70R18 all-terrain tire that comes with this. Uh, tire pressure monitoring system as well. Uh, that's going to monitor the tire pressure on all of those. The brakes, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. And we do have the uh, the fender badge. We'll see tremor with the active orange in there too. Well, actually, let's get a see if we can get a better shot of that. There we go. Um, not really a better shot, but you're gonna have the active orange in there along with the tremor. It looks pretty cool. You'll have the tremor badging decal on the side of the bed as well. For your mirrors, uh, does have a black mirror cap on it. Manual folding, power and heat on the mirror. Uh, we do have turn signal indicator on the outside. Um, going to be right there, I believe. And then we do have auto dimming driver side view mirror. So that's going to dim that mirror when cars want to pass you on the, on the, uh, around you, uh, high intensity led security approach lamp. It's going to light the ground beside the vehicle. And we also do have led side spotlights. Uh, so that'll uh, cast spotlights one for the left, one for the right. If you need those when you're going off roading, pretty cool having those. Um, and then we do have the bliss with crash traffic alert. So bliss is your blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Crash traffic alert means that if you're backing up, it's going to monitor your um, traffic behind you. So if someone comes up behind you. It's when it uses those same sensors for your bliss and alerts you and lets you know it's not safe to back up and let you know which side they're coming from and going to. And the bliss also works for your trailer on this. So trailer coverage, if you have a trailer there, uh, you have that activated. It'll also do the blind spot of your trailer. Now for your door handles, body colored door handles with this, with the body colored bezels um, back behind it and around there. So body colored door handles um, and tailgate handle as well. Intelligent access with push button start, which means that includes approach detection. So if you have that key fob in your pocket as you approach, it's going to put that spotlight down beside the vehicle, um, not spotlight the security approach lamp, I should say. And then when you put your hands in door handle, it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle light to get in and out and use push button start to start the vehicle. Uh, security code, keyless entry keypad. Some vehicles still come with this. Uh, it's not, you can't see it actually on this image. Um, it's not showing it, but it's supposed to have keypad right there on that pillar uh, as well there. Uh, remote start with the remote tailgate release. We'll talk, we'll remind you of that again when we get to the back. So remote start, on the remote allows you to remote start it real quickly there. Um, and then when you're close enough proximity, I should say, and then you hit that the button for your tailgate twice, then it'll actually release it and allow it to come down slowly. Uh, we do have a belt line molding that is going to be black. Uh, again, give it that sport look for you here. And then uh, we do have unique trimmer style off-roading, off-road bo uh, running boards, I should say. Uh, so dedicated to those. Easy fuel cap is filler door, so you just no cap to worry about. Leave them behind. Just open that door. Uh, you just fill it up. Uh, when you're done, uh, just close the door. Uh, it's that easy. Uh, standard 36-gallon fuel tank on all your Super Cruise, including the trimmer. And then, of course, the trimmer decal on the side. Okay, moving to the back. We do have on the back of the cab, we do have a cargo uh, lamp up there. So it's integrated in with the center high-mounted stoplight right here so people can see when you're braking. Power sliding rear window, you kind of see it right there. Rear defrost, privacy glass in the back windows and back glass as well. Uh, rear bumper is going to be body colored back here. You'll notice the exhaust, a dual exhaust with the rear exit. Looks really cool on the back of it. Two tow hooks as well back here on the back, uh, one on each side there. And then, uh, of course, a body colored bezel back here. I mentioned the rear view camera and everything back here. Uh, reverse sensing system as well. So it's going to alert you if you get closer and closer to anything as you're backing up. Um, and then we do have reverse brake assist. So if you're not paying attention to that and you're still backing up, it'll stop the vehicle if you don't. Class four trailer tow hitch with the four pin and seven pin wiring connector, smart trailer tow connector as well. So you can see as you're backing up, trailer sway control also included. And you do get for this standard equipment is the pro trailer hitch assist. So and the backup assist. I say those together because it uses the same dial for both of those. So it is that turn dial on the dash. So if you don't have a trailer hooked up, it's going to use the hitch assist to be able to back up that truck right to the hitch. So you don't need anybody helping you out. Uh, pretty cool on how that works. And then the backup assist, if you have a trailer connected, uses that same dial to help you back up that the uh, trailer behind you. 
And then what it'll do is um, you use the camera to guide your trailer and it does all the steering of the steering wheel. It's just, it's, it's freaky anyway. All right. So there is uh, that now spare tire. Uh, we do get a spare tire. It's going to be under the frame under here. Uh, there's a little hole, right? There's a spot right there where you would put that, the lowering uh, mechanism in there and it lowers that spare tire down uh, spare tire and wheel heavy duty jack that you get on the trimmer. That's an upgrade from the XLT trim. Uh, also power tailgate lock. So when you lock the doors, locks the tailgate and then don't forget power tailgate release. So you can use the remote or there's a button under there. You just press that and it's going to release that uh, tailgate to go down. It will not go back up on its own standard club. We'll talk about 402 a in just a little bit. It'll be fun. Uh, tailgate assist, left assist as well. So it'll be really nice and light for you. You can also remove the tailgate if you need to. And then we do have the tow hooks in the back I mentioned. Inside the pickup box, you'll have four tie downs in there. You also get bed storage boxes. They pulled this over, I, be I believe, from the Maverick trim. Uh, but you have a storage box in the passenger side. On the driver's side over there, you're going to have the Pro Power on board. Two kilowatt of Pro Power on board. Should be two outlets over there for you to be able to power different devices and everything. You're also going to get the zone lighting. Not sure where to put this. I just put it in the back. But zone lighting is going to use the lights underneath those uh, side mirrors, uh, the tail lights, the backup lights here, the front headlights to light up uh, all the way around the vehicle. You have four different zones you can dedicate. If you, hey, you're camping, I don't want them all on and blinding the person in front of me at a campsite, but I just need it behind me. You can just pick the back zone or maybe you want the passenger side. You can select those different zones for you. So pretty cool on how that works. All right. So moving to the interior for this in here, we do have the scuff plate driver and front passenger uh, doors uh, getting in. So you have the scuff plate. Illuminated entry is going to light up up in here. And just, uh, you know, as you open the doors, it's just going to illuminate that. We do have fade to off interior lighting. We also have carpeted flooring with the carpeted mats. The You will get the trimmer logo, I believe, on those front mats on there as well. And then for your seats, uh, unique black cloth seats they're 40 console 40 you can see this is a configuration you have no configuration for bent seats you'll see the trimmer on the backrest and you'll see dedicated this is the only you'll notice interior black interior this is the seating configuration on the 401a standard trimmer we're going to talk about 402a you will get upgraded there from seats but for now this is what's standard on your vehicle. Uh, 10 white power driver seat with a multi adjustable power passenger seat. They don't tell you how many ways. I think it's an eight way, uh, but it looks like it does have power passenger lumbar, power lumbar, power back recline. Um, seat cushion at least can go forward and back and probably up and down. The driver will be up and down as well as uh, the front cushion can go up and down. You will have the active orange stitching on the seats and the console. You can kind of see it there. Um, oh, this doesn't have a 360 view. Um, there you go. So you can kind of see that little accents there on the seats, the console and everything there. Heated front seats. So the driver and front passenger will have heated seat as well. Rear seats are also going to be cloth. Uh, you will have two USB charging ports behind the console. Uh, you'll also get the uh, flip up seats, uh, split seats with the elongated cushion there for you. And uh, so you're going to have that as well. So there you go. Um, and then power windows, front and rear, uh, one touch up and down feature for the driver and passenger front windows, which means you just hard press it and then you can let go and it's going to go ahead and roll them down. Come up, pull it till you feel a click and then let go and it's going to bring them on up as well. Power locks with the, uh, uh, for you, you do have the integrated uh, transmitter there. I mentioned the, the keyless entry uh, for you. It does have, includes auto lock. Uh, and auto unlock as well. Uh, the steering wheel, leather, uh, I believe that is going to be a, I don't, it doesn't say leather wrap, just says wrapped steering wheel. Um, might be an ActiveX wrapped. Um, and then it does have the orange stitching on there, active orange. Audio controls on the steering wheel as well. And we're going to get into some other, uh, actually right now, let's go ahead and let's talk about a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel with a manual lock. So it'll go up and down, forward and back. Just pull that lever underneath. And this will have adaptive cruise control here. Include stop and go, lane centering, and speed sign recognition. So adaptive cruise, uh, you can either use a traditional cruise or adaptive cruise, and it's going to slow you down to go the speed of the vehicle in front of you until it's uh, safe for you to pass them, and it'll resume up. You don't have to press your brake. Even bring you to complete stop and go again 
if you need to. And then speed sign recognition means it's going to actually notice the speed signs and slow you down and adjust your speed. Now you can select that tolerance uh, anywhere from, I think you can go a negative if you want or over, you, you set your tolerance. If you like going five over, set your tolerance to five over. And if that speed sign changes from 70 to 65, it's going to slow you down to 70. That helps save you from, from some speeding tickets. And lane centering will help keep you in the center of your lane when you have the cruise control activated. So when you have the cruise set, it's going to keep you in the center of your lane. You don't have to worry about the lane keeping system bouncing you around or anything like that. Also, standard equipment on the trimmer. 41A is the hardware for the Blue Cruise. So it's going to have your sensors and everything for your Blue Cruise, and you're going to get three months of service of Bluetooth trial for free. If you want an afterwards, we'll tell you how you can get that later. Uh, it's part of optional equipment um, as well as on a plan afterwards if you want. So, And then productivity screen is going to be a 12-inch productivity screen through the instrument cluster, compass display on the instrument cluster. You have outside temperature display. Uh, the gauges, meters, everything else is in there. Uh, a lot of that's going to be digital. Um, dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures there. Uh, we also do have Bino audio sound system with eight speakers, including HD radio. And you'll also get a subwoofer uh, with that. Sync 4 system. That's the new upgraded system where you can go wirelessly connect your phone in for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, also 12-inch. Uh, LCD screen in here with the information on demand, which means that you have the screen like you can see the navigation through there, and then but you have this little uh, you know radio right here. Uh, you just take that, swipe it over, and it just swaps places, uh, which is really nice. That's what the information on demand means. Uh, digital owner's manual as well, uh, more enhanced conversational voice commands for your recognition, and you get one year of the connected navigation for free. So if you want that nav, uh, you get one year trial of that. After that, you'll need to pay for the connected services to get the navigation in uh, further than one year. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror, so no lever on that rear view mirror to worry about flipping or anything. Cars come behind you with those bright lights, it's automatically dim it. Now you do get you can't see this and I don't have the 360 view. You get 300 you you get sorry, you get the upfitter switches in the overhead console, six upfitter switches. So if you want to set up some lights on there whatever, you can set up those uh, those switches to different things there. The visors will have a covered mirror on them, so flip those down, mirror on the back side of those. Um, and then in the media hub area down here, uh, there won't be any door. This actually showing a door right there. Kind of see in the media hub area. It will not normally come with the door on the 401A. We'll talk about 402A upgrades in a little bit. Uh, but that's a media hub area. You'll have two USB charging ports, um, two data USB charging ports in the vehicle as well. I think there are going to be some in the console. Oh, right here. So you have a couple going to be right here and a couple in the media hub areas right there. So, And then I believe this is the PowerPoint that sits right here. Um, and then you'll have four pass connect. It's a 5G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot connects up to 10 different devices. Um, but also you have the, uh, and it's actually costs you extra after three months on that. If you don't, if you want to continue with that, but what doesn't cost you any extra afterwards is the four pass app free app to download free app for doesn't, there's no, it doesn't expire from what I understand. Uh, you can connect your phone in, connect your vehicle, I should say with the, the vehicle, and then allows you to be able to remote start the vehicle from anywhere, unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, locate your vehicle, see the fuel the fuel you have in it, the tire pressure in your tires, all that stuff right through that right there. So that's all the standard equipment. Let's talk about a couple other things that are also standard, or let's talk about some different color options, I should say, for us here. We do have uh, about six different options here. We do have the agate black, agate black, I'm probably saying, I don't know. I'm going to say it both ways, and you guys tell me which way is right. Uh, we do also have the antimatter blue. Uh, so that's a cool color because that's not available in XL T-Trim. But it's available in the trimmer and available in XL. Uh, we do also have the carbonized gray metallic as well. These all are colors that do not cost you extra. Iconic silver as well. We have Oxford white, and we have avalanche. None of those colors cost extra for any of them. Uh, Avalanche looks really good in the trimmer, by the way. I have it on my Maverick. Uh, but there you go. Uh, that is a color for that. So those are different color options for you. Uh, again, everything we talked about so far is what we call the included in the 401A equipment group. Go to packages. 401A equipment group is everything we've talked about so far. 
Now, I do want to talk about the, before we go into the 402A equipment group, let's talk about the different powertrains because we only mentioned the 5.0 liter V8 engine. The other engine that is available with this optional equipment, it's only $90. Huh. So for $90, <laughs> you can upgrade from the 5.0 liter to the 3.5 V6 EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology. Uh, so uh, you have two different engine options here. Now, keep in mind, we've been doing a lot on a lot of vehicles. We actually have this trimmer build that we put together. Uh, if you go with the 5.0 liter V8 engine, you can upgrade at some point when Ford allows it to for a supercharger, whether it be Roush, Whipple. Ford's partnering with Whipple. Uh, you have an upgrade. You can upgrade a supercharger onto the 5.0, but you cannot do that on the 3.5 EcoBoost. So something to keep in mind. But there you go. There's an option for powertrains. Now let's get into that 4.2A equipment group. Now this is going to take us a while. It's $11,710 for this equipment group. It includes all those features, including three packages, which we'll get into these packages later. Um, I don't know why it mentions 360 degree camera because that's actually standard equipment on this. Yeah, it's not mentioning that in the order guide. So again, they sometimes that's why we go through these videos because sometimes the building price is not 100% accurate. So let's talk about this 402A equipment group and we'll start. Uh, we're going to talk about the packages at the end because the three packages, the bed utility, mobile office package, and tow haul package are also optional on the 401A equipment group. So let's talk about your exterior features first. LED taillights. You're going to get upgraded from halogens to LED taillights with this package. Go nicely with your LED reflector headlights. Modular front bumper. You know what we need to do? We need to add this. We just got to we just got to add this. And it shows a plus over here, but you got to click just click on it and now it gives it to us. So we're going to talk about this so it gives you the modular front bumper here. This is really cool. And I uh, did see it do a video at the auto show. If you want to see this closely, uh, actually two different auto shows that I've recorded a video on this. The modular front bumper allows you to put like a winch, uh, LED lights, that kind of stuff configured to this front bumper when you get upgraded to the 402A equipment group. A high lock transfer case is also included. Uh, do not ask me what that means. Um, some of you out there, put it down in the comments. You guys can tell me. So a high lock transfer case. I believe that's your four auto is what I think that means. Um, so right there. All right. Actually, no, that's right down here. Two-speed automatic four-wheel or all-wheel drive with a mechanical locking uh, four-wheel drive. Um, so that is something that you see on that Lariat. So I like to look at the 402A equipment group on the trimmer as Lariat type of equipment on a trimmer. And that's the way I like to look at it. And hopefully that will make some sense to you when you're looking at this, because that's where you get the two speed automatic four wheel, uh, four wheel drive system with that locking uh, four wheel drive. We do have the uh, front axle with the torsion differential. So upgraded differential there. You also get the um, I have in here rain sensing wipers. Um, so. It says pro power on board, two kilowatt. That's already standard equipment. So I'm not sure why they have it in here, but that's already standard on the tremor. Um, and then you get the rain sensing wipers. So when you have it in the, one of the intermittent settings and the rain sensing wipers activated, uh, you have to trigger that. Uh, then it'll go ahead and turn the wipers on when it starts to rain. Rain's harder. It's going to wipe faster and you don't have to do anything, which is really cool. Now, moving to the interior. Um you won't be able to see all this, but we're going to show you some of the interior. You'll see and oh, nice upgrades here. Now, one of the things you'll see is the media bin door. I was about ready to talk about that. So this door here, you can see that chrome accent right there. So now you actually have an active door that covers up the media bin area. So that's uh, an upgrade for you. Power adjustable pedals also as well. So that electronically move those pedals forward and back for you. Uh, one of the upgrades on the extra that I uh, didn't mention that's in my notes here is you also, for your mirrors, extra mirrors are going to get upgraded to power folding for those mirrors. Still going to get the power, heat, turn signal. Um, you're going to get auto dimming feature, uh, high intensity LED security approach lamp, your spotlight mirrors, all that's are going to be included. Now you're going to get, instead of the black mirror caps, body colored mirror caps here with this. And you're going to also get auto dimming driver side view mirror, which I think we mentioned. And you're going to get memory to those mirrors. So it'll memorize those mirrors with your seat. So if you're going to get memory seat, which is the next thing I want to talk about is that your power adjustable pedals are included in the memory. So your mirrors, 
your your pedals and your driver's seat are going to be included and your memory features uh, for this. Um, see, unique interior leather seats, the bucket heated and ventilated driver memory seats, uh, unique design as well. Those outbound seats in the back get it as well. Nice embroidering trimmer on it. Uh, so leather trim seats. Um, that's pretty cool. Second row heated seats now. So heated and ventilated in the front. Heated seats on the two outbound seats. Heated steering wheel as well. So upgrades to the leather wrapped from just wrapped. So I think it's it's an active X wrapped before. Now your leather wrapped steering wheel with the heated steering wheel. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Electronically goes up and down, forward and back with memory. So now your steering wheel, your seat, your pedals, and your mirrors are going to be included in your driver memory. Three different drivers, by the way. Uh, b &O audio sound system, went, uh, unleashed sound system. This is going to get you 14 speakers, including a subwoofer by Bang & Olufsen. Uh, HD radio, just like the other sound system got you. Um, universal garage door openers for this. So on the visor, you have three different transmitters. You can program to different garage doors, gates, whatever uses a transmitter. Ambient lighting, it's going to light up the footwells, the cup holders, the media bin area uh, with that ambient lighting. And then lastly, the heads-up display. Heads-up display on this, uh, so that's really cool. It's going to be on that glass, and it's going to you'll be able to see navigation, speed, all that kind of stuff on the heads-up display without having to look down at your productivity screen. Whew. And on top of all that, don't forget... You're also getting the bed utility package, the mobile office package, and the tow haul package. So now let's talk about those packages individually uh, and what's included in those packages. All right, so these uh, packages, again, as you can see with the 402A equipment group, they're included. All three of those packages are included, but they are also optional on the 401A equipment group. So let's talk about the tow haul package first. Uh, going in here. So tow haul package, again, is optional on the 401A, included in the 402A equipment group. And on the trimmer, it's gonna not going to give you as many upgrades as it will on some of the other trim levels, uh, but you're going to see some of the features here. It's going to give you the trailer brake controller. So now you're going to be able to control that brake uh, of the trailer with the trailer brake controller. Uh, on some of the other trims, you're going to get upgraded with the electronic locking gear ratio, but with this one, you're going to already have the 373 uh, e locker for you already included upgraded uh, rear bumper as well uh, so you're going to get that so that way you can tow and haul even more on the back of it um, now available equipment onboard scales at one point and if you watch some of my earlier videos you'd say well tim it also includes the onboard scales it used to now they have actually taken the onboard scales and smart hits out of the package made it optional for you now to get the onboard scales we'll talk about that in a little bit does require this package to get the onboard scales, but that is optional for you and available. So that's the tow haul package for us. Now moving on to the mobile office package, we'll just move our way up here. Mobile office package is also a uh, standard or an um, optional, I should say, on the 401A trimmer, but is included in the high, 40, uh, high package, 402A equipment group for this. Now, what you're gonna get in here, what you're seeing there, the console work surface, so you can fold that down. Your shifter knob shifts, folds down into the flat so that you can bring this out. And you can work just like he is right there with a the laptop. Maybe you want to eat lunch, whatever. You have a, a console work surface right there. Now, this is telling you on the STX that you get the 400-watt outlet. Remember, we already talked about you get the 2-kilowatt um, pro-power on board, which will also give you an outlet behind the console. Forgot to mention that earlier. Oops. Uh, but now you'll have an outlet behind the, in the cab as well as in the bed. Uh, this outlet actually may be up in here. It may replace your PowerPoint with an outlet up there uh, so that you can power that device without having to go to the back. Um, and then also mentions in here, you're going to get wireless charging too. So on uh, your trimmer, uh, as well as these others um, trim levels, you're going to get wireless charging as well with this so you're already going to get your bucket seats and everything and there's some notes in there uh, about the bucket seats it's already going to be standard equipment uh the trimmer you already are getting that the four, two kilowatt pro power on board it basically says it replaces a 400 watt outlet we already know all that just mentioned that to you just now all right so there you go 
and now we have the bed, bed utility package. So let's talk about this one for a second. Uh, this will be fun. So the bed utility package uh, is also optional on the 401 Tremor, but is included in the 402A equipment group, just like it mentions it up here. Now let's talk about this. You're going to get the tailgate step with this. Uh, so tailgate step moves that down and then pulls the step out. Now we're going to talk about that because when you move up to, to this uh, this bed utility package on a certain trim level, you will that might change. But on the 401A equipment group, trimmer, you're going to get the tailgate step. So it brings that step down so you can get into the back of the truck better. Also get the tailgate work service. You actually can see in the image there. Gives you a ruler, some other things, some clamp spots in there to be able to you know work off the back of the tailgate pretty uh, in a sense there. Box link system. This includes uh, four locking cleats that you can use uh, in there. So that way you can kind of use ramps, different things like that, and use that box link system. LED box lighting. So there's a button in the, in the side back here. You can click that, and you're going to have an LED light in the back of the cab, or in the back of the bed, I should say, on both sides. So that way it lights that up, and then it also lights up the back of the cab for you. Now, when you go to the 402A equipment group, you're also going to get the power tailgate. So not only the power down, but also power up for the tailgate. And then you get replaced. The tailgate step becomes the pro access tailgate that is now available just as of last week, actually. I haven't even disclosed that in my live stream yet. Uh, pro access tailgate, what you're seeing here, opens that up. Three different positions in there if you need to. It pops at different positions, including all the way up to 180 degrees. That allows, like he is using it here, with a hitch. So if you have that hooked up, um, some of those you might actually be in the way there, and you can only maybe open a little bit, but that allows you to get access to that tailgate without having to put the tailgate all the way down. Now, you can open that at like a door like that, but you can also then still use the traditional tailgate. Uh, but again, instead of tailgate, step you will get the pro access tailgate so those that's where you're going to get that on the tremor there right there so those are the three packages again included on the 402a all of those are optional on the 401a equipment group right there all right all right now we've covered all the different packages um uh, there actually is one other. They're considering a package here, as you can see right here. And if you want the Blue Cruise, and you know you want it for three years, hands-free driving, we can take your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, that's $2,100 for three years of service. So that is a package in itself. If you know you want to get it ahead of time, you want it, you can go ahead and include it on your build, and you won't have to worry about a bill for the uh, the Blue Cruise for three years. So there you go. That's an option. That's that's included. Uh, they're, they're showing that as a package in here, uh, but I don't think, I think everything else is standard equipment. All right, so let's jump in and talk about standard equipment, and we're going to go through these, and I'm actually going to get my pen here because we're going to check those off because some uh, there are a couple here that aren't listed on the website, so we're going to go through those and make sure everything is covered here. Only one wheel option uh, for this. No other optional wheel or tire available here. Um, the bed, you, the bed. Now, as we go through these optional equipment, we'll, I'll let you know if any of these are factory equipment, which means it put on at the factory before it's shipped to you, or if it's a what they call a dealer installed option, which means the dealership would put it on. It means Ford would ship it to the dealer, and the dealership would install it for you. Make sure on all the dealer installed option, your dealer does not charge you for an install on those. That is already figured in to this price. Um, so make sure they don't charge you extra for that. And also make sure they install the part if it's a dealer installed option. So if you order these and say, I want these, make sure before you take delivery that they actually remember to install that on your vehicle. Cause what happens is the part goes to the, comes in ahead of time before the, the truck even gets there. It's delivered to the parts department with a VIN number. And then whoever sets your vehicle up in service, uh, needs to look on a window sticker and make sure that all the DIOs are installed. If they look at it, that'll flag. They'll need to go to parts to get the part and put it on your vehicle. So, all right, let's go through these now. All right, so the bed divider right here, click on the eye. You can see what it looks like. So it's actually using the box link. So it will require the, it says requires the bed utility package because it requires that box link system. Uh, so it shows you all the things that it's not available with, not available with an eight foot bed. Of course, you can't get that on this. Not available with a bed mat, bed extender, pivot box, uh, storage box, uh, your bed covers, uh, your storage loading ramps. And that's because they're assuming you can't do those 
at the same time. So if you want the loading ramps and you only use them at certain times and you'll never use them together, what you need to do is get one through Ford accessories and get the other with your vehicle if you want to. Uh, so the uh, bed divider kit, bed divider here, that is a dealer installed option. So it will be shipped to the dealership and the dealership would put it on your vehicle. It's available on both 401 and 402A equipment group. Uh, tailgate step, uh, we already talked about. The reason you don't see a price here is because it's included in uh, the bed utility package, Pro Access Tailgate. Now, there is a removal. That has actually been discontinued. I'm surprised it's still on the website as of last week. That's been removed. Uh, the Pro Access Tailgate removal uh, is not even there. So what basically what happened was um, they were struggling with the Pro Access Tailgate integration for job two. And so they actually had to make this removal so they could continue production and scheduling vehicles for production. So they had the removal on there so that you could maybe get your schedule vehicle scheduled. Now that is not even an option anymore. They took it off altogether. So they need to remove it off the website. Um, the bed tailgate lock. So what that's going to do is you have a lock for the tailgate, but when you have that down, the tailgate can come out. So let's say you want to have it down. You want to have wood or something back there. You don't want someone to steal your tailgate. They're expensive, especially one of these like this. Um, so you can actually lock that in so they can't pull it out. So um, that's what that lock is for. So that is a dealer installed option. Um, the dealership would put that lock on your vehicle for you or on your tailgate for you. Um, I just need to find where that's at. I don't see it right now. So. Okay, there you go. That is, uh, I'm sure we'll find it later. Okay, the tunnel cover box soft folding. You have three different options here. Soft folding is 590 right here, and uh, that is um, going to be a dealer and uh, Ford accessory. So it will actually be put on at the factory and then shipped with it already installed from the factory, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, in fact, all three of these is the same, same way. Hard folding. It's going to have three pieces to it. It's going to fold up. Let's actually show you an image of that. There you go. This, all right. there you go. So you have the uh, trifold or the, it's supposed to be a trifold, hard folding bed cover here, four pieces it looks like for the F-150. Um, and then that is actually going to put on at the factory uh, and then shipped. Um, little fact about that, don't forget, this, it's available with both 401 or 402A. This, uh, the hard folding and the soft folding, neither one of those are available with the drop-in bed liner so if you want that you cannot get a drop-in liner so and then also it's showing you whether it's not available with some of these others of course it's not available with the other bed covers you can only pick one right not available it says with the bed divider but that's not in the order guide so i would just go the only the only requirement it says in here that it's not available with your drop-in liners and not available with each of the bed covers so it doesn't mention anything else in here all right the other one is the retractable, $2,200 for that one. There you go. And that's going to actually retract in, kind of like a retracts. It'll lock in different places, locks in with that. Um, again, with this, not available with the other bo uh, box covers and not available with the drop-in liner, but it's available in 402 or 401A equipment group. All right, bed mat removable, $215 for that. doesn't have an image here. Um, so this in here, this uh, bed mat is... Um, that is a dealer installed option, I believe. There it is. Dealer installed option. Um, so that means it will be shipped to the dealer. Dealership will throw it in the back of the bed for you. Not available with a drop-in bed liner. Not available with a hard or retractable bed cover. Don't know why. Um, not available with the sport liner or the bed divider. I think the bed divider won't be able to slide with that in there. Um, so I could see that. Um, I'm not sure the, the bed cover should have anything to do with it. This is a floor liner, a bed mat, just going to go on the bottom, but available on either of the 401 or 402A equipment group. There's your bed tailgate lock. Bed tailgate lock. By the way, bed tailgate lock is uh, not available with your uh, 402A equipment group, only the 401A uh, because of the power tailgate mechanism there. So, all right. Next, moving down, we do have the individual tire pressure monitoring system. This is actually basically, I don't know why they mentioned the monitoring system. Really, it's the customer placed trailer camera. So if you have that trailer that has the capability for this, you could place a camera on the trailer, $1,100 for that, $1,115 actually, and you can place that on the back. It does require the 360 degree camera, which is standard equipment on this. 
mentions the tow package and Max, which I don't know why it mentions that. Again, they just pulled that over from last year. Somebody has to vet this a little bit better. Anyway, um, <laughs> but it does it does uh, require some of these things. Um, yeah, that's weird. Uh, but this in here, uh, customer placed camera, that is a dealer installed option. If I can find it. I don't see it in here right now. I'll find it. Um, but that should be a dealer installed option for you uh, that you can put on the vehicle. There it is. Um, and it should be available with either the 401 or 402A equipment group right there. All right. And then we do have the illuminated Ford logo badge. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but that Ford logo now is white and blue. It is not chrome anymore. Um, and a lot of people have been adding this uh, illuminated Ford logo badge for 410, uh, which is pretty cool. Let's see if they got a no, no image of that. So that is available uh, on this if you want to add that. Uh, and I believe that is a dealer installed option. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, so then maybe that is a Ford accessory. Nope, that is a that would have to be a dealer installed option. Yeah, there it is. Dealer installed option. Sorry, folks. I didn't mean to have uh, not have that figured out, but it's hard to see this sometimes. So that is a dealer installed option. The dealership would install it for you. Um, again, no extra charge uh, for you on that. The window air deflector on the side, one hundred and fifty dollars for that. See if they got an image of this. Nope. All right, uh, this in here also a dealer installed option, as you can see on that one there. So window deflectors for that. All right, and then moving on down, we do have the front tow hooks. So that's already going to be included. All these other things that say they're included. Remote start, that's, uh, that's standard equipment. Twin panel moonroof. So twin panel moonroof is a factory installed option. I'll be able to find that one. Uh, that is available on the 402A equipment group. That is not available on the 401A equipment group. Um, so you can see they're only available on 402A, not available at all with the 401A equipment group. Gives you that the power sunshade that opens up uh, so you can see uh, the sky there. So, all right. The decal, tailgate, black decal on the back. So $70, show an image. Nope. All right, so... Um, Available on XL, SDX, XLT, and Trimmer. So it says tailgate or decal, tailgate black. So that's going to be, that's the letters. You know, on the F on the back of the truck. Here, let's see if we get to this. Wrong way. So back here in the back where it says F-150 right there, it's going to fill in the black letters. So that's why it's not available with the black appearance records on some of the other trims is because it fills in the black letters back there. Pretty cool. A lot of people actually like that. Uh, engine block heater including myself <laughs> engine block heater is 190 that is a factory installed option so uh, that would be put on at the factory so if you live in a cold weather state is available on either 401a or forward to a equipment group um, so you can get it there and um, it's going to allow you to warm up your vehicle in the winter time if you don't put it in the garage uh, pivot storage box by undercover right hand side so what that's going to do see if they got an image of this one they don't Okay, so that is a storage box that you can pull it and then it'll pivot out. You can put things in it, store it in there. Uh, so as you can see, not available with some things. Let's actually um, look this up. So this here is not available with your bed divider, not available with the bed extender, not available with your tonneau pickup box cover, hard or retractable, but is available in either the 401 or 402A equipment group otherwise. So you want to make sure you you know check that out if your dealer tries to install it or add it to your vehicle doesn't go that is why sport liner by bed rug now also that is a dealer installed option so the dealership would install it for you sport liner by bed rug um, that is also a dealer installed option not available with your drop-in liner your spray -in liner your bed mat or your bed extender so not available with any of those so sport liners uh bed rug basically so it's going to go on the sides and the bottom of that. A dealer, the dealer would install that. You can see dealerships are going to really like you if you add too many of these <laughs> on here. Because uh, I tell you, Ford does not reimburse the dealership back near as much as they should on these. Uh, they take longer than what they uh, what they give them uh, credit for here. Uh, we have the front and rear molded splash guards without the wheel lip molding, 245. Uh, so that's going to go behind the wheels. Um and that is also a, uh, there it is. Um, it is a dealer installed option available on the 401 or 402A equipment group. Uh, it says it right here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
no other requirement there. So that's uh, pretty cool. If you want that, it's the molded in, um, the molded in splash guards. So we do have the bed cargo net horizontal or vertical 80 bucks for either one. Uh, so one of them will allow you to use the tow hooks up here to have it going up and down to put things in so they won't roll around. Or you can put one this way. If you have something down there, you want it to stay down. I don't want to fly out. Then you can put that net on there. Use the, the four tie downs in the corners to be able to put those in there. So that is a dealer installed option on both of those. Um, the dealership would just uh, basically they'd give it to you. Um, and then you'd put it in whatever you need it that way. So and available on 401 or 402 a equipment group. Now, moving down, let's talk about interior features here. Um, we have a first aid kit with the Ford logo, uh, $50. I'd get that through Ford Accessories. But if you do get it from on your vehicle, then the, the dealer will just put it in your vehicle for you. Um, and it's available on 401 or 402A, dealer installed option. Um, we do have the f uh, floor liners, tray-like, including the uh, carpeted mats. Uh, it's not showing a cost on here. Um, it is available in either the 401 or 402A equipment group, so I'm not sure the cost on it. Uh, it does include the mats, um, and that is a freestanding option, so it means it will be put in the car before it leaves the, leaves the factory. So it will be in it. Uh, adjustable pedals are part of the 402A. Heated front seats is part of the 401A. The ash cup with the lighter or with the corn hole, coin holder. So, yes, some people still smoke in their vehicles. So if you have that, you have two different options. That is a dealer installed option. They'll just put it in your vehicle when you get it. Available on the 401 or 402A equipment group on both those. You can see the prices there. And then in-vehicle safe by console vault is $400. Uh, should show an image of this one. There you go. Uh, that is available for you. Um, and that is, let's see if I find it. That is a dealer installed option. We mentioned that already. Available on the 401 or 402A equipment group. So available on either one. All right, so they don't mention anything else, but they're, let's go over the things that they forgot to put on the on there uh, that are available according to the order guide. Now, one of them is your onboard scales with Smart Hitch. It's not showing it in here. They made that change part of job two. does require the tow haul package, but that gives you the scales so you can see on the rear taillights. It'll show you as you put more and more in your bed if it gets to max capacity on your onboard scales. Also can use the app or on the screen inside the vehicle. And then the smart hitch allowing you to, to hook up um, the vehicle. Front license plate bracket. States that require front license plate, standard equipment. The dealer should put it on at no charge to you. If you live in a state that doesn't require one, but you want one, still no charge option. Dealership is supposed to install it at no charge to you, but you need to make sure you order it. If you don't, I'm sure and you go, oh, you know what? I wanted that front license plate bracket. They'll charge you for that. So keep that in mind. Something new for this year requires the modular front bumper, which is now part of the 402A equipment group, is the brush guard. So you can add the brush guard to the bumper, like on the Bronco, kind of. I have a Bronco, so I kind of mentioned that. Anyway, there you go. And then we have a foldable pickup box bed extender. Oh, by the way, that, yeah, I did mention that it was only 402A on that brush guard. Um, foldable pickup box bed extender. So that'll fold in against the sides, fold it out, come up over the bed when you have it down, available in the 401 or 402A equipment group, but not available with your tonneau pickup box cover retractable and not available with the bed, bed divider, either or. Uh, so if you have one of the others, you will not be able to get to order that. So keep that in mind. Now, again, if some of these aren't compatible with each other, Order one through four accessories later. If you know you're not going to have them on the vehicle at the same time, that's why they tell you you can't order them is because they can't be on your vehicle at the same time because the dealer won't be able to install both of them. Um, so that's why they'll they'll tell you that. Also, wheel lock kit. Um, didn't mention that at all in here. Uh, available in 401 or 402A. If you want uh, those nice wheels, don't want them taken, it'll take one of the lug nuts off, put a locking one on. That is a dealer installed option as well. The dealership would do that for you. Again, no extra cost. And then the last two things that I'm surprised it doesn't mention it, and that is your um, different spray and liners and such. You can, from the factory, these are accessories 
but done at the factory is a tough bed spray and liner. I had the Ford emblem on the back available in the 401 or 402A equipment group. That is available. And then you also do have the bed, the drop-in liner. So that is going to be the plastic drop-in liner uh, available in the 401 or 402A equipment group, but not available with the pickup box bed cover retractable or the hard trifold or the soft bed cover. Not available with any of them. Um, and then also requires the bed utility package for the drop-in liner, which that's kind of new. There you go. All right. That's it. That's all of our, um, that's everything, uh, folks. Um, so we've covered all the standard equipment, the different uh, packages, that 402A equipment group, which so many people like that gets you the pro access tailgate and all those different things there. Hopefully this did help you out. If you're wanting to place an order with your local dealership, make sure you go to your local dealer and take this information in and go ahead and order couple tips for you for ordering with your local dealer make sure you get the price in writing so when you go to order that they're going to give you an order sheet that's going to show you what you ordered it's going to show the msrp price you want to make sure you ask the dealer what are you going to price based off that msrp are you going to be above or below um where are you going to be at on that so you just need to uh make sure you figure that out with the dealer um, and then also find out what their dealer fees are as well. So are they, you know, you know, find that out, make sure that you have that in writing as well, and then find out about price protection. So one of the things that a lot of dealers uh, try to get over on you is that if the price still goes up on the vehicle from when you ordered it, from then when it comes in, sometimes they'll give you, they'll charge you that higher price. Ford actually will protect the, the price to what it was when you ordered the vehicle. That's called price protection. Um, and so you should be getting the price at what it was when you ordered. So that's why it's important to get that printout sheet and said, Nope, this is the price I'm paying. Remember we talked about this. Here's the price you said you're going to pay. Here's my dealer fee. This is what I'm paying. And Ford will reimburse the dealership back that difference when the vehicle, when they see that it's the person that ordered it, it's the person that bought it, then they will match that up and they will reimburse the dealership 45 to 60 days later. That's how they get their money. Also, another thing you can lock in is your incentive lock. So it will protect your incentives from when you order the vehicle or from when it is when it comes in. You get to pick whichever is better when it came in or when you ordered the vehicle. So if there's an, like right now, if you ordered a vehicle right now, there's 1.9% for 72 months on F-150 right now. That includes ordered vehicles. If you ordered a vehicle today, you get 1.9 locked in for 72 months. You also get the 90 day no payment. And you also get the warranty that's going on it. That includes not only in-stock vehicles, but actually I have to take that back because that's 23 mile a year. Scratch that. But let's say that was a situation that was happening. Um, they would lock those in for you. <laughs> Sorry. Forgot. That's 23 mile a year, not 24. Anyway, but that's a kind of a situation I was, I'd be talking about where it would lock in those incentives of what they are now on 24 mile a year. But let's say when 20, when it comes in, let's say they're better or or whatever, you can use those incentives if you want. So it's either the sale date or the product date. You get to choose on those incentives. Sorry for the confusion on that. Hopefully I didn't get you too excited about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, I think that covers everything. If you want to order from us, we are doing, uh, you know, let's just throw this out. Well, let's do invoice pricing on any ordered F-150 Tremor. If you want to order one of those with us um, and uh uh, we do also, if you want, on top of that, if you want to finance a vehicle with us at standard rates, uh, then we'll also pay for the first $1,000 of your shipping costs to ship it right to you. Or if you want to fly in, travel expenses like flights, hotel, and gas on the way back. That is also available for you. So that is a YouTube special on both that pricing and that. So you want to make sure that when you call in, that you say, I'd like the YouTube special. Tim said I could get an F-150 MS uh, invoice then you need to uh, then let them know that and we'll get you that pricing for you. So I uh, hopefully you guys like this. Uh, and if you want to order with us, we have plenty of allocations and we're going to be ordering some tremors and doing some special builds with those. So again, I think that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself and we'll see you in the next video.